Teddy Money, 98.7 WFGR. Take me home tonight, 748. Andy O and Dave Cagley. You got a little work to do, don't you? I do. Well, you got the traffic to pass along oh, yeah. or something. We got uh, backups northbound 131 to 28th. No reports of any accidents, but uh, look out for stop and go traffic there. Also, two car crash. Schaefer at 32nd Street, uh, Ford 131, I 96, M6, moderate to heavy, US 31, Holland to Muskegon, no reported problems. That's right. traffic on 98.7 WFGR. Let's get the fan crap out of the way real quick. Yeah, why not? Can you believe Kevin Matthews is sitting in this? Oh studio? my God, it's Kevin Matthews! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Loser. Dude, whatever. Oh my God, he does have a horse head. <laughs> Look at that. Give him some oats. Up close Jeez. and personal. Look at his head. I it's... can't believe you're sitting across from me, Kevin. Welcome. Wow. Hey. I thank you very much. It, thank you. It, it's an honor. It's a pleasure. I thank mean, you. we we both grew up listening to you. Yeah. Through our uh, you know ne'er do well days as teenagers yeah. in West Michigan, and you've gone on to such an amazing career and such such a great example for radio. Well, thank you very much. It's, it's great to have you here. I, hey, it's good to be back. You know, I spent a lot of time in Chicago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I graduated from Grand Valley, kind yep. of. I, yeah. uh, three, Did you actually graduate? No. Okay. I, I, I need say, three okay. credits. All right. But I, I, this is where my, I, radio started for me. This yeah. is where I got married. Right. My son was born here, and I went to uh, Chicago, had fun over there, but then came back here, and this is my home. This is it. This Very is my cool. yeah, and we're glad to have you here. So what, I'm I'm glad to be here because yeah. uh, Grand Rapids is is rocking. You tell you know people Dude. in Chicago what the, what's going on over there. Why are you over there? And I went like it's a little gem. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it really has to. I mean, and you were here for the years where pickings were really slim in downtown Grand Rapids. There, there was, was nothing. nothing. There was a war, it was a war. Well, it wasn't a war zone. I mean, it wasn't even there was nothing here. Right. right. It was just abandoned buildings and. You know, and then you get uh, folks like a Peter Secchia, right. and he has some friends, and they decide they're going to clean it up yep. uh-huh. because they they wanted to bring Gerald Ford back when he was president, but the Secret Service said you've got too many empty buildings. Right, and really? That's, that's when Pete Secchia and his friends, you know, the DeVos family, uh, Van, Van Andels, Andels, they all got together and built it up. So and look what you got now. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Art prize. Look yeah. at that. I, uh, you got, do you have pieces of art in you too? Do you? Well, oh, I did some stick figures. Right. Really? Uh, yeah. But, you know, I couldn't come up with 50 yeah. bucks Those were to horrible. enter yeah. the thing. I had know. 15 bucks. You had like, I think, 17, so we right. were a little short. Just exactly. short. Next yeah. year, we're going to do it, though. Yeah. If yeah. Russ gives yeah. us a do raise, it. Yeah. <laughs> make sure that you've got something entered. You yeah. Know? It's a it's a fantastic thing. Let's talk about your health a little bit. How how you feel? I mean, you, yeah. in I was, 2008, uh, you uh, announced I the think, MS? Yeah, I have MS. Yeah. That was awesome. That was just great. It was, you know, I mean, it, it is what it is. You've yeah. got something that there's no cure for. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, and I understand it's it's a, yeah. you know, it's it's a lifelong battle that you're going to have to fight and everything yeah, like but, but the day-to-day symptoms are you... uh, yeah, it's you know, I mean, I'm not I can't run a marathon or anything like yeah. that. Well, that's you, a good excuse you know. to not run a marathon. Right. I would love to mar- run a marathon. Unfortunately, I have MS. I so just I, can't I just rely on being fat. What yeah. I what I I can't like I'll fall like it would be funny to watch me right. fall down a flight of steps. <laughs> okay. Or what's really cool is I get great parking. <laughs> oh. And, Awesome. Hey. And, I don't, and I don't feel guilty about it, man. You I'm just if I were single right now, I could get so many chicks because I, mean, yeah. I could just and look at this, man. I'm right up front. It's awesome. <laughs> you can go to concerts now and go, hey, I got MS. I'm in. Right. They put you up on stage practically. Uh-huh. Look at you. <laughs> You'll knock all the equipment that, over yeah. and stuff like that. I've that's done, your hook, though. I'm not kidding. You get on stage and then suddenly, you know, mm. you go and do a stage announcement. Right. I was it, it, again. Oh. Da- you play. Oh. Da- you play Dave Mason. Oh right? yeah. I was with Dave, and I know Dave, and I was on stage with him, and. I couldn't get off stage because my balance, and I was almost on the verge of knocking his keyboards and the guitar stands all over the place. When was this? Uh, two years ago. Really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. So you're still out doing the do, and you've got some podcasts. I got all stuff, kinds right? of stuff going. Yeah. On. Talk about some of these podcasts you're yeah. doing. Well, I got that's a, a huge thing now. Well, it's almost too it, podcast. Mm-hmm. So many everybody's got a podcast. Right. Right. What I what I'm doing though, I'm back with uh, somebody you might know, Disco Demolition, Steve Dahl. Oh my God, okay. I heard of him. Remember? Well, I'm on his network. Okay. okay. And I love Steve. And the thing is, what I'm also been doing is I'm working on a documentary. A film company came to me because everybody yells free bird, right? Right. At concerts. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is we're doing, I created that. I told people years and decades ago to yell free bird, especially at concerts that suck. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) And now it all starts with, we're working with Billy Corrigan from Mm -hmm. the Smashing Smashing Pumpkins. 
Billy it was from Chicago. Mm-hmm. I had Billy. I mean, I've known Billy before he was a pumpkin. Okay, yep. and he it went from uh, I. We have a great relationship. Billy and I decades ago, but now Billy hates me. Really? What because, did you do? Well, Billy, because he hates when people yell Freebird. And so <laughs> we're doing this documentary on Freebird. Okay. And he's part of it, and others are part of it. So. And and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but Billy, I mean Billy Corgan had a couple of hit records, and the Smashing Pumpkins had their time in the sun. But he's still, I he's like still, Billy. Yeah. He's still out on tour. Yeah. But the thing is, it went from playing his records mm-hmm. first. I I all start launched him musically, and now it's gone from like to hate. Didn't you play the and I made I like you card? The what? The I made I made no, you. I I never did that. Billy, I remember when you had hair. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Uncle Fester. Yeah. If people yell free bird, do a little right. of it. Yeah, yeah, have exactly. a sense of humor about it. But yeah. when you if that you, people yelling free bird has uh, it from Paul McCartney to Sting, everybody. Everybody you gets You can go it. to church yep. and you, somebody will yell free bird <laughs> at a choir. Sucks, yeah. I've done that. Yeah. Uh-uh. Which is awesome. <laughs> Talk a little bit about some of the bands that you came across over the years that you oh wish God. you would have given a little bit more attention to. How about the bands that I'm glad I didn't give attention to? Okay, go ahead. Would be, you know, if I, 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 like, I look at Justin Bieber right now, and like, just hold his head underwater in a (laughs) toilet. But I mean, it's it. We every we broke everybody. Yeah, Um, everybody, everybody. I mean, there's so many. Every I'm driving downtown, listening to you guys, and the music, the tunes that you're playing, we played for, we broke them. Oh yeah, which is awesome. Yeah. There yeah. was there was a real heyday in Grand Rapids radio back when you were here. Oh, big time! And you guys picked it up a long time ago. Yeah, we tried. I mean, I you know w- worked across the street that was, was at one time great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's now just like a castrated puppy. Yeah, yeah. So you guys are kicking their ass when it comes to music. I'm not kidding. You. Well, thank you. Well, it's, it's the Death Star over there. So well, they got oh, the yeah. Death Star, and then you got the other one. Oh yeah, that's the Drifters. Right. Yeah, the Death mm-hmm. Star. Which is one? Where we both came from, Clear yeah. Channel. Yeah. Ugh. We call that the Death Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, good. You guys yeah. are having fun. Yeah, and that's what it's all about. Well, well we're glad you're here. Thank you're here. You. You're here to talk about something pretty specific. This, yes. you had a hand in this corn maze thing getting started. Well, the bottom line is, everybody listening, this is the weather this weekend is just going to kick ass. Yes. Fantastic. And if you, oh, if, oh, 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 careful. Oh, kick. Russ is in here. Don't say yes. Russ yeah. Hines rocks. He's yeah. your general manager. <laughs> yes. I've got so much dirt on Russ. Yeah. <laughs> really? Say whatever. Uh, but the bottom line is, the weather's great, and I. Uh, years ago, I got together with a, a an owner of Thousand Acre Farm. Yep, and th- it's right down in Door. It's easy to get to, and I thought, f- let's do a festival down here because mm-hmm. there's so many farmers in West Michigan. Yep. that just work so hard, right? And they spend their their money that they put on a farm. A, a tractor costs three hundred thousand dollars. Or they might lose corn last year. Yeah, you know, yeah. half a million dollars in and the corn. fruit crops all got beat yeah. last year. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a big deal. Agriculture is a big deal. So what we've done is we're work. We use and, and work a thousand acre farm every year. And I wanted to put together the worst festival ever. Okay, because I've done so many festivals. Why not do the worst festival ever and yeah. get people with? I uh, love culinary. Get people that make bratwurst, mm-hmm. and let's get music, and let's get hot air balloons, and let's get a car show. And let's, it's turned into a three day event. It starts this Friday, yep. tomorrow, mm-hmm. yep. Saturday, and Sunday, down and door. If you've got little kids, they can run around, they pick pumpkins, hay rides, corn maze. It's, it's great. Yeah, we've got little kids. We had Denny Middleton come in yesterday. Yeah. And he was yeah. talking about, you know, during the day, it's, it's kind it's, of organized for kids. Exactly. And then at night, it gets fun. so creepy because they have this haunted woods that they've spent so much money developing. I hate it in the haunted woods. You don't like it? Well, I want to punch. Or... You know, people that come out with a chainsaw yeah. and scare you, you yeah. want, instinctively you want to hit them in the face. <laughs> right. Plus, I don't like going out in there. You know, right. it's just, that's evil stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah. But it's so cool because it's evil at night. So yeah. when it gets dark, yeah. and, and they put together a haunted woods that is just so creepy. People love that stuff, yeah. though. They go nuts. Oh, and we've got live music during the night and during the day. It's just three days of great fun. What a great time to have. And you guys are part of it. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In fact, we've got VIP tickets from Blue Moon Beer. Yes. It includes a bus ride down there. Yeah. It yeah. includes front of line entrance. It includes yeah. everything. And we're going to give that away in just a little bit. And everybody listening, uh, again, just come on down for an hour, two mm-hmm. hours, stay all day. Because what I've done is I wanted, once you're on the farm, there's so much to do. You don't want to leave the right. farm. Right, right. You know, and and the car show that we have, yep. the hot air balloons mm-hmm. uh, that are tethered, and it's so you can go like can go up in one. You can go up in one. You oh, get fun! Rides. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Good way to find lost kids in the corn maze too. Perfect. <laughs> You yeah. lose your kids, you can find your kids. Get the view from 500 yeah. feet up. Oh, look, there's Timmy. I just saw it's just a great family day, and we got great sponsors. You guys have been great to promote it. Well, and the bottom line is, I'm just trying to help this family out. Yeah, mm-hmm. this uh, that are a, a family of farmers. You know so. what? And I'll tell you what I've always liked about Kevin, and I've tried to model myself after that. I'm getting a little choked up, but you pick small causes. And you help people that don't yeah. normally get the attention yeah. that some of the... Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with the big charities and all that kind of right. stuff. But if you can help somebody in a you, niche, you, you in a small it, group like that, yeah. that's right. where your friends Somebody's are always got it worse than you. Mm-hmm. you yeah. Know, yeah. You know, people, oh, I got MS. Yeah. Well, right. you know, I, I we work with some folks that have just... Uh, it's hideous. You can't believe it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, and thank you so much for helping these guys out. Well, we're we're glad you you're guys here. have. You got to remember, you open a microphone up, a lot of people here. Yeah, right. And you've got a you've got a chance to really help out folks that really do need help. We do our best. You do. Yeah. That's we all really you can do. do. We've when, got this exactly. thing started. We call the We Difference Foundation. Good. And we try to find organizations that don't have a marketing budget. Right. And they don't have the social media presence that they need and all that right. stuff. So we bring the light to them. We've been talking yeah. about kids with cleft palates. Yeah. We were talking about uh, a nine-year-old right. boy from Fremont that had cancer yeah. and decided to start sending gift packs to other kids with cancer all over the country. How about that? Amazing. Dude, you can't you know, ask for better yeah. than that. Right. No. It's awesome. It, it, that, that's what I love. And, that, and that's how come I love being back here. This is my mm-hmm. home. Yep. I don't want to go back. I'll tell you what. you got to go over and talk to Andy Rant for a few minutes. Remember him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah Andy yeah, Rant? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, was, Andy, yeah. Isn't long he time. uncle time. or something? I thought everybody's kind of related in this business. Honestly, so. you know what? When I first heard Kevin Matthews was on the radio, you bring up uncle. Yeah. I thought to myself, I was 10 yeah. when you started. Right. I thought to myself. He's got to be Buck Matthews' nephew. Everybody thought there <laughs> was this really? <laughs> guy named Buck Matthews. I used to say he was my dad. Did you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> my mom was really cheap. We'd right. like to. We'd like to invite you. We're going to go downstairs okay. and broadcast live for the oh, yeah. last hour. Oh, I'll come project. down with you. You want to come down yeah, and hang yeah, out? Cool. I'd be happy to. All right. Excellent. So everybody listening, if you want to get out on a beautiful fall weekend, yeah. here it is. Please come on out. Absolutely. And Door. It, it's a great, it's so easy to mm-hmm. get to. Yeah. Do you have the address? We'll put it up. Okay. Yep. You just go down 131 to the door exit, head west five miles to 24th Street, yep. and then go north. You can't miss this. We'll one, link the so. website. We'll link the, right. the page and all that stuff, tickets and all that yeah, good stuff. Yeah, and then we'll go down to the lobby. Are you going to do, what are you doing for our price? Well, we've got this thing going yeah. called Here's Your Sign. Yeah, okay. And yeah. they can either bring their own sign okay. down or we've okay. got some that they can make and they can say whatever they want. Okay. So, you know, and I'll yeah. sketch you guys too if you want to take your shirts off uh, oh hey no problem really sure. yeah <laughs> you want to see that yeah, huh? is it wrong <laughs> not at the, all the great kevin matt and i'll tell you what when you get ready to do your uh your showing at the uh, drive-in this winter do you guys want to do yeah sure okay. why not i live there i know i'm I, I know i'm asking you guys i've always wanted i love the getty drive-in in yep, Mesquite. yeah yep and what we did two three years ago is in in the dead of winter we showed fargo fargo <laughs> It was so surreal. If you guys want to do that again, I want to. That's do it. a great idea. Okay, and we can help any little charity you want. Anything you want to do, we want okay. to do. We can make it a big deal. That, that little kid in fr- in Fruitport, Fremont, Fremont. Fremont? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, how about if we help him out? You want to do that? Oh my God. Good deal. We, we either got to show uh, Ice Station Zebra, okay, or Fargo. It's got to be a movie about winter, right? Yeah. So, dude, whatever you want, and it. Like I said when Let's we first that. sat down. Amazing okay. that you're in here. I, ah, I dude, it, I'm freaking out. No, don't. Please. I, I, and an I, understand, I understand. You know, we, we've been both at this for a yeah. long, long time. But to to have a guy in that was so influential on much. me as a kid. Thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. It's a huge deal. Kevin, well, thanks for God coming bless down. You. Appreciate we'll it. move things downstairs in just a few okay. minutes. You can meet Kevin Matthews at the uh, Here's Your Sign thing. So come join us at 50 Monroe. It's 98.7 WFGR. I want you to.